Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I am going to talk about how to fix. The Arc Survival Evolved is having an issue crashing, it is not launching, won't launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and even many more issues that is happening for many users, how we can fix this app. So let me directly get into a step. So the first one is all about the step one, we need to try different launch options such as option no battle eye or direct x 10 so while you are launching the game you might be having these two options the first one play arc survival evolved like this this is by default you have to change into play arc no battle eye anti cheat or you have to change into play arc direct x go for play and you have to check with the game this is the first and foremost step that i want to give you as a first step just check this and that's going to work in most cases Next one, we need to set the beta participation to either ASC, Pre-Aquatica or none. So just go over here, right click and go to properties. Now go to the betas. As you can see right now, the beta participation is set into none. So you can change into Pre-Aquatica ASC or you can, if it is already there in the Pre-Aquatica ASC, you can change into none and you can check. So this is what you have to do. Now afterwards, we need to move to the third step. That is all about if you are having any kind of mode already installed, you have to remove it or uninstall or unsubscribe it. You have to try any of these three and that's going to work in most cases. Either we have to remove it or we have to uninstall it or we have to unsubscribe it. Next one, the step four, we need to uninstall and reinstall the battle eye. So just go over here. Now in order to uninstall or reinstall, right click, go to manage, browse local file that's going to take you to this, expand this. Now from here get into the folder named shooter game, get into the binaries, win64, now get into the battle eye. Now from here we have to first right click and go to run as administrator and go for yes. So the battle eye is now uninstalled, we need to reinstall it back, so right click and go to run as administrator and go for yes. Now the battle eye is installed back. Now we need to check with the game. Still, if we are having the trouble, then we just need to uninstall the battle eye, then we need to launch the game. So follow the same instruction, go to the file expo, I mean installation directory. Now from here we have to right click and go to run as administrator and go for yes. Now the battle eye is uninstalled. Now we need to close this. Now simply launch the game. Now go for play. The moment you launch the game, the battle eye will be reinstalled back or it might ask you to install the battle eye which we can go proceed as well just install the battle eye you might be getting a message where you have it will be showing the battle eye will be installed and like this yes you will be getting this particular message now the battle eye will be installed and you have to check with the game next step is all about we need to allow the game exe file to your window security so just go over here search for the control panel and you have to click on this particular one now go to windows defender firewall Go to allow and airport feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here you have to scroll down and add the Arc Survival. As you can see, I have already added the Arc Survival Evolver. You have to put a check on this box that is private and public. Similarly, you have to add everything. That is, just go to change setting, allow another app, go to the browse, this PC, Localist D, Steam Library, Steam Apps Common. Get into the Arc folder, Shooter Game, Binaries Win64. Now we need to add Arc Launcher. Similarly, add Arc Shooter underscore BE and also add the Battle Eye. Inside the Battle Eye, we have one thing called BE Service underscore X64 added. So right now, I have already added everything. And once you add, you have to put a check on both the boxes, private and public. That's very important. Then you have to close this and you have to check with the game. Next one is verify integrity of game file. So just go over here. Right click and go to the properties, go to install it file and just verify integrity of game file which is going to take a lot of time. So we need to just click on this one and we need to wait. Next step is all about what we need to do is we just need to go over here. We need to either rename or delete the config file. So when you do this you will be losing all the progressions of the game but even rename the game saved game folder and create a backup first. So just go over here in the file explorer, this PC, go to the local disk C program sorry not program files user folder admin then get into app data go to local sorry i think it is local low you might be finding the folder here for the arc game or get into the folder local now you'll be finding a folder here for arc save 
Now when you find it, just right click on the respective folder and delete it, which will be losing all the progressions that you saved so far in the game, but it worth a lot because you'll be losing all the progressions, but even though it worked, or you can just change the name of the folder, then you can close this and you can check with the game. Next one, we need to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Try running the game in the compatibility mode. So to do this, just go over here, right click and go to the manage browse local file that's going to take you to this go to shooter game binaries win64 now from here you have to scroll down and get into the game installation i mean the launcher right click on this one show more options properties compatibility put a check on this particular box that's run this program in the compatibility mode now we have to put a check on disable full screen optimization and also you have to put a check on run this program as an administrator so these three things should be done now we need to go for OK and you have to close this and you have to check with the game. Next step is all about we need to perform a clean installation of the graphics card. So I'll be providing a link in the description to both NVIDIA as well as to the AMD. So the NVIDIA users just go over here, select everything like if you're on the GeoForce, select GeoForce, select everything over here. Now we need to go to find and we'll be getting the latest released versions of the graphics card over here. Now from here you have to scroll down and download and install the graphics card. Similarly, if you're on the AMD, just go over here, select every details over here, go to 5000 series. Now from here, go to submit and Windows 11 with 64 bit edition should be downloaded from here and the Windows 10 with 64 bit edition should be downloaded from here. And also you have to check, maybe after the installation of the graphics card, just do a restart. Next one, we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. So just go over here, search for graphics settings. Now we need to click on this one. Now from here, we need to scroll down and make sure the game is added. As you can see, I have already added the Arx game launcher. You need to go to the installation directory. After you add it, just expand this. Now, as you can see, the GPU preferences is changed into high performance. Now first it will be on the LED windows side, from this we need to change into high performance and you have to close this. Similarly, make sure one more thing, that the desktop users connect to the display or HDMI cable to the dedicated graphics card slot, not the motherboard slot, that's very important. Next one we need to try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option, so just go over here right click and go to the properties. First we need to try with DX11 and you have to launch the game. If DX11 is not working, try with DX12 and we have to launch the game. If that is not working, we need to move to the next step. Next step is all about, we need to unplug external devices such as Hotas, pedals, racing wheel, razor, disconnect all the additional USB connected to the PC and disconnected additional joystick, controllers connected, disable the Steam overlay and close all the overlay applications. That's very important. So go over here, right click and go to the properties. If Steam overlay is enabled, we have to disable it and we have to check with the game. Similarly, if you have already installed any applications like Riva Tuner, MSI Afterburner, everything should be uninstalled. Or if any overclocking applications is running here, we have to remove it. These are the very important step and we have to launch the game and we have to check. Next one is all about, we need to try these commands in the launch option. So the first one that is IP config for flushing the DNS. So just go over here, search for the CMD and go for run as administrator and go for yes. Now copy and paste it and press enter. Next one we need to type IP config release, copy and paste it, we have to press enter. Next one we need to go for IP config renew, copy and paste it, we need to press enter. Now once these, I mean these commands are done on the CMD, just make sure that you update the windows. So just go over here settings. Now from here, we need to update, just go over here and update the windows. Then once you update the windows, you have to check. Next step is all about, we need to install the Microsoft Visual C++. So just go over here, download and install the Microsoft Visual C++. Now from here, if the system is based on x64, download this one. And if the system is based on x86, you have to download this one and install. Restart is a mandatory and you have to check. Last and the least step is all about, we need to uninstall and reinstall the game. So you can uninstall the game, just go to the game, right click and go to manage and uninstall the game. While reinstalling it back, you should not be installing back on the local disk D, but you have to try either E or C. That's very important and you have to check. 
So these are the steps. And the very important one which I forgot is verify integrity of game file. So just go over here, right click and go to the properties, install and file and just verify integrity of game file and you have to check. So these are the steps and I hope this quick video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. That's it. Bye bye.